This is one of many quiet little streets in Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh. Nothing much happens here during the day, except the slow passing of idle traffic. But come midday, things begin to get curiously busy. Blue plastic tents begin to rise up. Tables and chairs begin to appear. And in no time, this once quiet street has transformed itself into a strip of very popular restaurants. Cambodians love to eat on the streets. People from all walks of life enjoy these fast outdoor meals and enjoy the random choice of dinner partners and the random conversations which range from the personal to the political to business. Many people stroll by my noodle stall and notice that my vegetables are fresh. Many of my clients are wealthy. They stop to eat because my place is clean and the food is good. Outdoor dining is an old habit that has been enjoying a revival as Cambodia's economy strengthened and diversified after the 1993 elections. These instant diners represent the pulse of the new economy. Chung Min saw an opportunity and he decided to build a business for himself and as a result created one of the best jobs available in Cambodia. He delivers ice in a nation where the dry heat verges on the unbearable for six months out of the year, the chance to tuck your arm around a bit of coolness is a luxury. What he doesn't have is the luxury of profits. I did not have a job. I did not know what to do, so I started selling ice and I began to make a little bit of money. I just buy ice from the wholesaler to keep my costs low. Sok Poon begins her day in the market, buying the freshest and best produce that is available. Since the explosive ouster of First Prime Minister Prince Ranarit in July, prices here are much higher. But Sok Poon buys judiciously, carefully selecting and skillfully negotiating for the best price. But her profit margins are also down since the July fighting. The majority of my customers used to be students and wealthy people. But now, there are less of them. As Sok Poon prepares her soups and curries, she has other problems to deal with. Business is down by 30%, and the local currency, the real, matches that 30% drop. Her staff, most of whom are family members, are hurting. Less business, less money, and less support for all the members of this microeconomy. The enthusiasm that used to grip this street hasn't slipped away, but it has been tempered by recent political events. Chung Min delivers less ice, and that worries him. This young boy makes small change, feathering dust off the cars of hungry patrons. There are fewer cars than there used to be, and that worries him. But in spite of the worry, there is an underlining sense of confidence here, a sense of surviving, a sense of being able to weather yet another bump in the road. All Cambodians understand that bump to be a political one, and they are very suspicious of current Cambodian politics and the current array of Cambodian politicians. What these people want is the jobs they used to have before internal politics and international aid abandoned Cambodia. These people want to spend money again. They want to spend it here, out of doors, engaged in conversation. They want cheap meals again, but not meals flavored by cheap politics. Ed Fitzgerald, Asia Business News, Phnom Penh.